You're welcome to the Niger Ombudsman channel, and it's a pleasure to have you here today on this channel. And uh, today I'm focusing on the Nigeria election. The state elections in Nigeria, I'll say, was more than an embarrassment. I'm, it's still it's like a bad dream. I'm still trying to, I'm still trying to, it's like I'm, I'm still dreaming. When I think, when I look back at last Saturday, the 18th of, of this month, March, I'm still yet to get over it at what I saw on that election day. It was an embarrassment. We saw people and the INEC connived with, especially, for example, in a place like Lagos. The INEC connived with the, um, the, the politicians. Take, for example, in VGC, where the, the people were being forced to move the, 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 the polling units out of a place where they know they'll be safe. Some candidates, some people were moved from where they voted during the presidential elections to remote places where they know that the area boys and the miscreants, which Sonwolu and APC have already commissioned for this dirty fight. It was sad. This is one, this is the, the worst elections I have witnessed as a Nigerian. It's one of, it's, it's, it's about the worst elections I've witnessed as a Nigerian. We saw people being turned back from their polling units because they looked somewhat like an evil person. When did we get to this pathetic state? And then the, the outgoing uh, High Commissioner for Nigeria, the British, out, the outgoing British High Commissioner for Nigeria, could open her mouth to say that Nigerians should be proud of the elections. That was even the presidential elections. That was not, that is not even as worse as what we are seeing or what we saw on, on Saturday. Could an election like that, could it have been organized in Britain and the British people celebrate? There have been protests. I'm very sure that up till now, things will still not have settled if an election that took place in February for the presidential election and the one that took place on Saturday, if it was organized in such a way in the United Kingdom. And yet, the British High Commissioner, the outgoing British High Commissioner, could open her mouth to say that Nigerians should be proud of such elections. It is sad. It is sad that many foreign nations, many nations, because of their 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 their, 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 their evil foreign policies, cannot open their mouth to speak the truth and, and, and challenge African leaders and hold them accountable. We see a situation, for example, like Cameroon. How long has Paul Bia been in office? Yet Macron can go to uh, uh, Cameroon and, and, and shake Pobia's hands. Because of what they are getting, because of the oppression, because of the fact that they have held the French-speaking nations captive. But let me come back to the issue of Nigeria, because that's the focus right now. It is sad to see what happened on election day. We saw journalists beating seriously, the Arise TV reporters beating seriously. We saw intimidation beating of, of the electorate. We saw Waje and some other people who posted their videos online of their 
horrible experience. And for um, Onanuga to have come up to post such a horrible tweet, it is very, very sad. Has it now become a crime to be an Igbo person in Nigeria? So an Igbo person now or any Nigerian cannot go to other parts of Nigeria, live, do business without being intimidated, without being afraid of their lives. To the Oba of Lagos and the Bales, the traditional rulers in Lagos, it's a shame. It's a shame to see that because of what you people can gain, you people supported such xenoph xenophobic actions initiated by Songwolu and APC in Lagos. One of the APC chieftains did say that they caught them unawares during the presidential elections. Yes. So they came up with their evil plans. They mobilized their satanic structures much more last Saturday. It is sad. A Yoruba person, an Hausa person, can go to go abroad, be elected into positions, and then you people celebrate at home. But a Nigerian, because he's not from a particular place, and specifically an Igbo person, he or she cannot do business in Yoruba land, nor the Hausa land, and other places without being afraid for their lives. If we know as a nation, that we cannot really operate as a united entity. If we know as a nation, we cannot truly operate a unitary system of government where every Nigerian can go anywhere in Nigeria without being afraid of their lives. Then let the evils go. It will be hypocritical. It will be wicked for us to continue to preach that the Igbos are part of Nigeria and we cannot just allow them be. If they do business, did they stop you from doing business? Is it not a shame that you are from a particular place? Somebody come hundreds of, of, of kilometers from outside that place, come to establish business, progresses, establishes himself, and you fold your hands. In laziness. Because you believe you can harass people as an agbiro and get money for your survivor. So the Nigerian people, especially the young, the, the, the youth, I'll say I am also disappointed. I know that you guys feel disenfranchised because of what happened in February during the presidential elections. But I never expected that you guys, because of this, we sit back and allow the nonsense that happened on Saturday to happen. Believe me, what we have in Nigeria is what I call satanocracy. 
It's a government by a group of people who have mortgaged their souls to the devil with the sole interest of satisfying themselves, their cronies and their family members, as well as their praise singers. To the detriment of a populace that have been so beaten and oppressed that they fail to realize that they are the ones who truly have the power. That is what satanocracy, in my own definition, is. Because the political class of Nigeria have largely sold their souls to the devil. And for Vice President Oshie Banjo, I have a message for you. You are supposed to be a pastor. You are a, supposed to be a professor of law. And in all this mess, you can still afford to keep quiet. Because of your own political ambition. It is disappointing. You all travel abroad. Your children, most of your children are abroad. Including the, 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 the children of the head of talks in Lagos. MC Oluomo. Your children are all enjoying. Environments. Peaceful environments. Created by truly democratic by truly democratic states. Bola Ametinubu, your children are in the UK. Your children are in the, in the United States. But you have become a poster boy of Togri. And conf political confusion in Nigeria. And for Songo Olu to, to come out to say he's thanking those who voted for him. Who voted for you? Who voted for you? When the results were manipulated. We see Rhodes Vivo even showing results that were supposed to have been even for the House of Assembly elections still manipulated and posted as a result of the, 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 the governorship elections. We saw results where they were being tipexed to favor APC. Can we continue like this? To the INEC chairman, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. You are a disgrace. You, 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 you ask Nigeria for almost 400 billion naira. Almost 400 billion naira. And you have only delivered absolute nonsense. We cannot call this an election. It's, we cannot even use the word sham. I cannot even find the adjective to describe the kind of elections we had on Saturday. You have just told Nigerians to sit at home that you have decided who you want to occupy offices in Nigeria. History we never forgive you people. History will always be there to present, to project the chaos and confusion you brought to a nation God has so richly blessed. President Muhammadu Buhari was this how you came into office in 2015? 
was this how you came into office in 2015? That's my question. Good luck, Jonathan. Alongside Jega, conducted an election that brought into office. Things went peacefully and you assumed office. Since assuming office, you have destroyed you and your government. You have destroyed everything that speaks of sanity. Everything that is supposed to make for a peaceful nation, for a progressive nation, for a nation where uh, citizens can, 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 can do their business freely, everything that speaks of sanity in every sector of life, you and your government, you have destroyed them all. Is this the change you and Oshiba Banjo preach to Nigerians? It is sad. It is sad. It is sad. To the judiciary, as I close this video, you are now the last hope of Nigerians in sorting out the mess that the INEC and the political class of Nigeria under APC have created. The police and the army, you also compromised greatly. You must know that your allegiance is not to any political party. Your allegiance is to Nigeria, to defending the peace and integrity of the nation. But to a large extent, that was not the case. But I commend those who did what was right during the presidential elections and during the governorship elections. I know that you are there to take orders. So I commend those who, despite the limitation from the top, you have still tried to do what was right. President Buhari, history will be there to speak about the things, the chaos you and APC meted on Nigeria and Nigerians. You people have destroyed even the fragile unity that even existed before you came into office. You have destroyed everything that speaks of sanity in Nigeria. You have brought misery to the people. My heart bleeds for Nigeria. Many Nigerians have online been tearing their passports out of the frustration they feel. But I will never tear, I will not tear my passport because that is what you people want. So that those who would have spoken to hold people accountable, they will be so frustrated that they will begin to, to dissociate themselves from Nigeria. But my challenge is to Nigerians, home and abroad, and to international partners who really know what democracy is. To rally al along with the judiciary of Nigeria. 
hopefully the judiciary of Nigeria that itself has been so compromised will this time around look at the evidences before them, before it, and do what is right. It is a shame. I felt embarrassed discussing the issue of Nigeria elections before my friends. Because I felt that Nigeria should have been the light bearer for the continent of Africa. But a few set of greedy people, a few set of people who have sold their souls to the devil just refused to do what was right. And to Nigerians, can Nigeria be savage? Can we see the kind of Nigeria we desire? Absolutely. I still, in all this, believe that we can have a Nigeria where there's sanity among the political class and across board. But this can only come if we collectively stand together and hold these people who have become a nuisance to our nation and to the progress of our country if we, are, if we stand together to hold them accountable. That, this is the only way Nigeria can move forward. For those of you who took 2,000 Naira, 4,000 Naira, 5,000 Naira, and the case may be. Today is Tuesday. And I bet you have already exhausted that money. God has blessed Nigeria too much for it to be in this nauseating state. But I believe a new Nigeria will emerge. If we, the citizens, collectively stand to hold this evil set of human beings accountable. May God bless you. May God bless our country, Nigeria. I look forward to seeing you 